In this problem, all we need to do is set up the initial simplex tableau for uh, each part. So um, because we, ha we have uh, three equations, three variables, we're going to have to add in a slack variable for each equation. So this one will be, we'll call it S1, um, less than, or sorry, equal to, so whatever S1 is, it will make it precisely equal to 100. Negative x minus y plus 10z uh, plus some other slack variable, not necessarily the same one, will equal 30. Um, in this case, 3x plus 4y plus 5z um, plus, what we're going to have to call S3, will end up equaling 200. And then finally, uh, we'll, we'll use this guy here, which we know that the P column will have a coefficient of 1, but in order to get everything on the same side and equal to 0, we have to subtract x, subtract y, subtract 2z, so we get negative x minus, t minus y uh, minus 2z plus p is equal to 0. And so we begin to set this up in our tableau. We get 1, 2, negative 1, 1. We have then 1, 2, 3 slack columns, 1, 2, 3. Uh, is equal to 100. So that's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, a 4 by 8. Negative 1, negative 1, 10, 0, 1, 0, 0, 30. 3, 4, 5, 0, 0, 1, 0, 200. And finally, negative 1, negative 1, negative 2, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0. We enter that into our program. We get the following final tableau. So the only active columns are the x and z columns. This tells us that y equals 0, as stated here. Um, x, we have to go down to the active value, is 52.9, which we have here. z is this value here, 8.29. And the optimal solution, in this case, it calls it e, but uh, we're actually looking at p is uh, 69.4, that's our maximum value. A similar process goes for the other example. Um, once we get our slack variables in there in a similar fashion, we would actually get uh, 1 1.1, 2.1, 0.4, 1, for another slack variable, 0, 0, 12. Uh, negative 1, negative 4, 30. 0, 0, 1 for the third slack variable, 0 for equals 400. And then um, subtracting over, remember, for our objective function to get it on the same side as p, we'd have negative 0.5, negative 1.2, negative 0.9, 0, 0, 0, 1 to put in place of the p equals 0. And um, solving would give us the only active columns would be the y and z columns. x must be 0, which we see here. y would be 2.46, which we see here. And z, coming down the column, would be 9.56 for an optimal value of 11.6, which we see here.